Hey guys, what you see here is a nice cost cal calculator which you can build for free and use it as you like. What does it do? Based on what the visitor selects, you see the cost here. It even uses conditional logic, for example, right now here are the numbers of pages and number of posts, but if I choose uh, e-commerce, there is also a number of products here. Based on what I select, you see the price change. And if I go to the last one, even here, everything changes. And here is a approximate price. I'm going to fill the fields and send the message to the site owner. If you're interested, then take a look. How did I create it? And you'll see it's quite easy to do. Now let's go to the back end. Go to plugins, add new and search for Forminator. Install and activate it, and then you'll see the menu on the left. Click on Forms, and now Create. Choose Blank Form, Continue, give it a name, Estimate Calculator, Create, and now let's add some fields. Click on Insert Fields. You can choose a couple of fields all together, or you can choose them later. Right now I know that I'm going to use the radio button, calculations button, page break, checkbox, name, email, phone, and text area. Click on insert fields. Name, email, phone and text, they are going to be the last ones here. Now I'm going to start with the radio selection here. In order to edit this field, press on this icon here and click on edit field. Give it a name, for example, website type. Here are the options, static HTML. CMS, for example, WordPress or Joomla. Another option, maybe e-commerce site. And you can add as much options as you want. Now go to the settings. If you want the options lay layout to be horizontal, then you can choose it here. Also, you can choose whether it's optional or required. I'm going to set it to required. Now I'm going to set up the calculations. Calculations enable. And for static HTML, 100, 200 for CMS, and 300 for e-commerce. Styling and visibility, those I'm not going to touch you. Now I'm going to press apply. Next one, since I'm the lazy one here, I'm going to duplicate this field and now I gonna, I'm going to drop it here. In one row now I have two fields. Next field is going to be the design complexity. Two options, pre-made template and uh, custom design. I'm going to delete the last one here. Calculations. Pre-made template 150, custom design 400, and apply. First one done. Now since I'm gonna make a page break here, I'm gonna drop it here and I'm gonna duplicate this one. Next thing on my calculator was the number of pages or number of posts or number of products. Therefore, I'm going to duplicate this one here and drag it here. I'm going to set up the options again. None. 1 to 20. Oh, one more thing. Number of pages. 21 to 40. 40 to 60. And last one, more than 60. Once again, calculations, 
none means zero 20 euros for that 40 euros for this one here 60 euros for this option and 100 euros for more than 60 pages and apply and once again i'm going to duplicate and drag it here i'm going to rename it number of posts since the calculation will be the same i'm not going to change anything here once more apply and once more duplicate and drag it here this is going to be number of products the pricing will be the same but the visibility i'm going to set the rule that this field is going to be shown only if website type is e-commerce that means that if somebody chooses website type e-commerce only then this field will be shown so apply if i want to preview it i'm going to click here and this is what we'll see right now next this field is required next there it is and previews now we have to set the page break here next one there will be extra modules for this i'm going to use the checkbox option edit field give it a title for example extra modules and set up the options custom logo design image slider contact form events calendar image gallery and last one booking system go to settings set it to required layout will be vertical for me and once again enable calculations logo design 400 image slider 50 contact form 40 events calendar 150 image gallery 50 booking system 500 and apply these are the extra modules for regular site now i'm going to set up the module for e-commerce i'm going to duplicate it and drag it here let's edit it i'm going to give it the title e-commerce extra modules and once again some options here paypal payments credit card payments maybe someone wants the custom shipping calculator or role based pricing maybe even the dynamic pricing or points and rewards calculations paypal payments 50 euros credit card payments 80 euros shipping calculator 120 role based pricing 200 dynamic pricing 250 points and rewards 400 and once again under the visibility we're going to add the rule that this block will be shown only if website type is chosen e-commerce and apply now we're going to set up the name and the email phone and text area if you want you can rename it i'm going to set it to required apply email address also required phone number will be optional and text i'm gonna delete the label and inside the place order i'm going to add enter your message and apply last we need to set up the calculations therefore let's open it up label it total go to settings and prefix i'm going to set approximate price this one is going to be shown in front of the price and as a suffix i'm going to ent enter the euro sign decimal places will be 
2. Now let's up the calculations. I want to calculate website type plus design complexity plus number of pages plus number of posts plus number of products plus extra modules and e-commerce extra modules. Formula preview is here. If you know a bit mathematics, then you can set up every kind of formulas here. I set it up, I'm going to apply and I want this to be here. And the page break is here. Now I'm going to go up to the pagination and I'm going to set this one also up here. I'm going to rename the page one as a website type and design. Page two, I'm going to rename content. And last one, I'm going to rename extra modules. And there is a settings. You can choose either it is shown as steps or as a progress bar. I like steps more, therefore I'm going to leave it as it is. If you want to change the buttons text, then under the custom, you can do also that one here. So I'm going to apply that and Okay, it seems that this page break is the wrong place, therefore I'm gonna drag it here. Now let's publish it. Let's grab the code. Now I'm gonna create a page for it. For example, estimate calculator. Let's add the short code block. Or if you don't fancy that one here, then remove it and add the form block. This one here, choose a calculator, publish it. Now let's see what happened. It's here, but doesn't look very good. Therefore, I'm going to edit the page and I'm going to get rid of the sidebar. I'm using here the cadence team. It's really great. You can find the link to the team in the description of this video. So I'm going to get rid of the sidebar here and set the vertical padding to enable. Also, I want to show the page title. Update and preview. Well, looks already better. But if I compare it to the cost calculator I made before, then that one looks a bit better. Therefore, we have to tweak it a bit. Go to the appearance here. Under that you can change the appearance of your form. I'm using the material version. Update. Refresh. And already a bit better. Next, scroll down and enable custom CSS. The code I'm going to show you, you can find it also in the description of this video. But if I paste it here and update it and refresh the page, well, much better. Now let's see how does it work. Let's choose a CMS, custom design, next. Let's try to go next. Nope, field is required. Go back, choose the e-commerce. This one also now appeared. Next. Well, the total is in the wrong place. We have to move it below here. And also I would like to show the total under every page here. It's easy to fix. Therefore, go to fields. Total goes to under extra modules. Now let's duplicate it twice. And move first one here and the second one here. Update. Let's refresh again. Well, there you go. Here is our approximate price. Seems to be working great. Last thing we have to do is go to the behavior. That means what happens after someone is pressing on the send button. 
here is a message you can change that one also take a look at the other options here you can change the text which appears after the customer pressed on the submit button you can enable the autofill I suggest you to enable the honeypot protection it protects you from the spam a bit so load form using Ajax and prevent page casting, caching from pages update and now go to email notifications and set up who gets the notification for example message from your website and pressing the plus button you can choose whatever field you want to know for example name of the sender under the recipients you will add the email who gets the message you can also set the multiple emails just separate them with comma under the conditions you can set up that send this email only if website type is e-commerce then the email will be sent to this email here but if website type is CMS send this email to this email and now you can set up the message you can choose by the field types here for example website type this one but it's gonna be a bit easier if you paste this all fields merge tag here that one shows all the fields which have been chosen by your customer and now just that so as you saw it wasn't too difficult to create such a estimate or cost calculator based on this you can basically create every kind of forms you can use conditionals, you can use calculations, basically you can do whatever you want to do with it. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about the new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.